In part one of this video, I showed you how to fix a permanently limited PayPal account by using a third party mediator known as the Better Business Bureau. Now, all it took for you to fix a permanently limited PayPal account was to file a complaint with the Better Business Bureau, and they would be the ones to contact PayPal on your behalf to have things resolved. Now, most of the people who tried out this method actually got their PayPal account fixed and fully restored. But there were some few cases where people were being told that their PayPal account does not fall under the jurisdiction of the United States office. So, in this video, I'm going to show you one how you can find out the jurisdiction for which your PayPal account falls. Then secondly, I'm going to show you how you can fix your PayPal account and which third party system you can use to fix your PayPal account. So what you're going to do when you come to the PayPal website, I encourage you to log in into the account. And the reason you want to log in into your account is because PayPal has different rules for each account what it happens is that if your account was opened in the united states the rules that apply to your account regardless of where you live will be different from an account that was created while in nigeria while in afghanistan while in uk or while in whatever country that is out there so you have to make sure you log in into your account and once you do that to discover the legal jurisdiction for your paypal account you scroll down to the bottom and you want to find where it says legal and this is the button that will be below the flag that will be here just click on that legal option and paypal will bring out the legal agreements for the paypal services so all you have to do is read the statement that will be on top so now like i mentioned earlier on depending on the location where you created your paypal account the legal agreements will be different so this paypal account let's say if i was logged in if i see this statement it says these legal agreements apply to users in the united states that means my account falls under the jurisdiction of the united states office and again just go right ahead and use the better business bureau to file a complaint and have my paypal account fixed for those of you who'd like to do that there'll be a link in the description that you can use to actually file a complaint or to follow along how to use the better business bureau to fix your paypal account now in some instances you discover that when you read the legal agreements you have more than one country here so what will happen is that you have to scroll down to the bottom and check out the policy updates and under the policy updates there will be extra information to tell you which region your account falls under so let me just show you a quick example i'm going to go to the home page scroll down to the bottom and above the legal line there will be a flag that will appear here and you just need to click on it and it will bring the list of countries where paypal is available so what i'm going to do i'm going to choose a different country let's say a country that is in the asia pacific region so let's say for example i'm going to choose this country that is in the asian pacific region and i'm going to go back to the legal agreements now here you see that the legal agreements for paypal services has changed and you can see here now it says these legal agreements apply to users in asia pacific setting european and latin american countries middle east and africa so you're not certain exactly which jurisdiction governs your paypal account however in order for you to be sure what you're going to do is scroll down to the bottom and under the policy updates you see what it says consumer advisory the paypal payment service is regarded as stored value facility under singapore law and they even show now the name you can see here it says paypal pte limited now this paypal pte limited is how paypal is registered in singapore they even go ahead and tell you uh the approval of the monetary authority of singapore so meaning that for the country that i chose or the country that governs this paypal account uh, the jurisdiction for which this account falls is under the office that is based in singapore all right so that is how you discover the jurisdiction for your paypal account now let's go to how you actually fix a paypal account so the first method i'm going to show you is actually using the paypal website itself and i'm very surprised actually that this is available and paypal somehow hides this option so what you're going to do is scroll down to the bottom and again come back to the flag option just click on it 
and we are going to go to the country section now what you want to do is scroll down to the bottom and you want to change to a country that is in europe okay choose any country that is in europe and let's say for example i choose cyprus now this is the home page for the cyprus paypal account now when you scroll down next to the legal agreements option you see something that appears now which is next to it which says complaints just click on it so on the next page paypal actually tells you how to submit a complaint to paypal and they give you options to submit complaints even for their other companies so all you have to do is click on this submit complaint form and here under the reasons you want to click this drop down arrow and choose the reason that is applicable to your account but if you don't find that reason just click i don't see my complaint reason and click continue then on the next page you have a form that you can fill out and all you have to do now is to enter your details your last name and your first name and use the email that is attached to your paypal account and also the phone number attached to your paypal account if you don't have access to it maybe there can be an exception for the phone number but for the email make sure you use the email attached to your paypal account then on the reference number what i encourage you to do don't provide the case id for the limitation what you want to do is provide a transaction number in your account most likely most preferably the last transaction you did on your paypal account that's what the one you want to have here then now here you just explain wh what your complaint is about and what you want paypal to do for you and also make sure you include the dates the um, signatures and everything that is relevant to the information and everything that is relevant to help you out please make sure you write it down don't be lazy just write it down and please be as polite as possible because you want them to look at your complaint in a favorable manner all right now if filing a complaint directly with paypal without involving a third party system does not resolve your permanent limitation on your paypal account what you want to do is to involve another third party system if you're in the united states you want to use the better business bureau to file a complaint or you can also use the consumer financial protection bureau in my own experience paypal tends to respond faster on the consumer financial protection bureau as compared to the better business bureau however success rate is mostly on the better business bureau on fixing your permanent limited paypal account now for those of you whose paypal account does not fall under the jurisdiction of the united states office now if you are based in europe you want to use the financial ombudsman service now this works similar to the better business bureau as you can see here there is a financial dispute resolution that's fair and impartial so all you have to do is scroll down to the bottom and just click on the make a complaint and you'll be good to go just file your complaint with the financial ombudsman okay that is for countries that are based in europe now another site you can use for those accounts that fall under the jurisdiction of the uk office is just come to the european commission website and from here what you want to do is scroll down to the bottom and just click and from here you want to scroll down and find where it says business economy and euro just click on that and the next page you want to scroll down again and find where it says banking and finance and you want to scroll down until you find consumer finance and payments just click on it on the next page you want to click retail financial service just click on it and from here you want to scroll down again and you can see where it says financial dispute resolution network that is the fin net all right so you can see here it says make a complaint about a financial service provider in an ee a country okay so from here you can get all the details you need in order for you to file a complaint you can use the online form that is here or you can also get details for other countries you can file a complaint to now most of the information that will be here they will even provide you details of offices that you can file a complaint to depending with your country so if you want to find all that information just click on contact information for all members in each country just click on it and it will bring you to the page which will show you all the countries and all the offices of which are affiliated to finnet all right so if let's say i click on australia 
you see that it will give me all the details and how to file a complaint so it will even give me this uh, website link and it will even take me to a website i can even use a language that i'm comfortable with so you can see they even tell you you can file a complaint using german or english so you can just go to this website if you're in australia and file a complaint now if you are in asia you can use resolver.in now this resolver.in is a website that is based in india so now these are mediators and they'll help you resolve complaints against paypal so what they do is similar to better business bureau however these are helping most people in asia so if your account is under the singapore office you want to use the resolver.in website okay you want to use resolver just go right ahead and come to this website and file a complaint with them now and you can also use if you are in india that is now this one is specifically if you're in in india okay you want to file a complaint using this one resolver will handle all complaints uh, regardless of where you are but for this one it's uh, specifically because this is a government office that is based in india that's the national consumer helpline you can file a complaint with them for those of you who are based in india and they'll be the mediator between you and paypal now unfortunately there is no other way of fixing your paypal account apart from filing a complaint or contacting paypal directly and pleading with them to fix your paypal account so if you see any comments in the description telling you that this uh, person on instagram can fix your paypal account and the likes please those are scams and do not pay money to anyone to fix your paypal account thank you very much if you have any questions just leave them in the description and i'll just leave them in the comment section and i'll get back to you as soon as i can thank you